Hey, yo, Ren, turn that up. Turn that up. Let's go doll shopping, but at like retail shops, okay? First retail shop, this is Blessing Dale's. Um, uh, this used to be a homeless shelter for women and kids, and it still is. And they have a, a lot of good things like clothes, house goods, and all that. And it used to be like giveaways. You used to be able to go there on like Thursdays and you were able to get stuff for free. But I guess they got over doing that. So now they have a retail shop. And I like this retail shop because it also they have a upscale department in there that actually has really good name brand clothes. I've gotten like Tommy, we ain't gonna say Tommy. I've gotten like real polo out of there. I've gotten like some really expensive jeans for my grandson out of there. I mean, you and, and they'd be like, what, five, six dollars. And I mean, you really, they just like be real name brands, expensive name brands a lot of the time. So yeah, I'm gonna go in there and take a look and see what they got. Uh, I'm not gonna take you to the clothing shop because y'all might know my secrets. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and do a um, doll hunt today. We're gonna see how this goes. See, it's not very much in the town that I live in. It's not very much to see. We don't have a lot of like retail shops. Oh, my dolls are here. Yay! I'm so afraid. That was a disappointment. I only got one and I don't know what it is. I went on um, Maytail Creations and I ordered like some dolls. And for some reason, my Monster High dolls never seem to show up. And even though I've already paid for them and they were still in stock when I got them. So I, I guess they're sending them to the bigger people, you know, the bigger doll collectors. And, and I still think that's unfair. And I'm gonna continue to say that's unfair. If I've paid for that doll and I waited to get that doll and I got it, then I need to get my doll, especially if it's already paid for. So it said that, it, at first it said it was only gonna be one doll in the package then a couple of hours later it said that that doll was also being sent so i don't know this is may tell has done me like this more than once and you know it sometimes just gets ridiculous it just gets to be ridiculous so i'm so proud of myself i was able to put me a little mount in the car i don't know why i've never done this before yeah because i love doing these things you know anyway my day is done pretty much I had to take my sister to a couple doctor appointments today. And yeah, we got in, we got there at eight o'clock, went to one and went to the other one at 10 and we got done at about 11. So I guess I spend some of the day just cruising some of the retail shops to see what they have. Probably won't buy anything. You know, I'm short on money, girl. You know I ain't worried. So after I just said, oh yeah, my dolls is here, you know. As a collector, you try to, you know, you try to make it make sense. Well, I'll get this one because, you know, I'll be okay as long as, and then uh, when I look at that bank account, I'll be like, girl. Anyway, let's just go look, okay? First retail shop, this is Blessing Dale's. Um, uh, this used to be a homeless shelter for women and kids, and it still is. And they have a, a lot of good things like clothes, house goods, and all that. And it used to be like giveaways. You used to be able to go there on like Thursdays and you were able to get stuff for free. But I guess they got over doing that. So now they have a retail shop. And I like this retail shop because it also they have a upscale department in there that actually has really good name brand clothes. I've gotten like Tommy, we ain't gonna say Tommy. I've gotten like real polo out of there. I've gotten like some really expensive jeans for my grandson out of there. I mean, you and, and they'd be like, what, five, six dollars. And I mean, you really, they just like be real name brands, expensive name brands a lot of the time. So yeah, I'm gonna go in there and take a look and see what they got. Uh, I'm not gonna take you to the clothing shop because y'all might know my secrets. <laughs>
wonder who she is. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, who she is. Actually, two of them. Who are they for $1.99? They're actually cute. I think I'm going to get them. Ooh. Who are they? I have not a clue. Somebody's color her lips blue. Her teeth blue. <laughs> she got ripe teeth. I don't know. She's even got a piercing in her navel. They're cute though. I have no idea who they are. She's cute. This a Disney doll. I believe it is. I like this outfit on Bobby. I'll look good to goody show her, but that's a cute outfit. That's really cute. I get it. Just for three dollars more. Mm -hmm. They really want to. They used to be a dollar ninety nine. These are not the. I've seen mostly all these dolls before. <laughs> She's cute. Her faces. Looks like she has on Elsa's outfit though. This is a cheap Barbie. The legs don't even be under anything. Oh, Lord. This is our Barbie that been through the blues. Good God. Ronald? <laughs> but yeah, guys. All right, guys, I got those dolls. I didn't think I wanted to get them, but I did get something. Let me turn this around.
This is the Wabash Depot. Let's get inside. Look at these. $30. I normally come in here and they have like cute Barbies, like vintage. But I think they moved most of them upstairs now. This is a wonderful retail shop. Remember the lady in the red hat club? There's the bear in the red hat. So cute. Here's Miss Shirley Temple. Oh my God. When I was little, I used to love Shirley Temple. like little Dutch dolls. Miss Betty Boop. Pretty cool. Raggedy Ann and Andy. I've never, I used to long ago love Raggedy Ann and Andy, but not anymore. Coca-Cola. Princess Kate and Charles. Uh, um, well, that was King Charles. Got a lot of antiques and collectibles in this little part alone. Ripley's, believe it or not. Here's a cute little chair. It's cute. It's just a tissue box cover but it's really cute and it's ten dollars but it's actually cute great idea the setup now this is interesting we have this barbie 2000 i think this is an up-to-date fascinista or ken and then we have this barbie place that we still want twenty dollars for i think i bought it for ten across the street though but this is pretty cool. It's a color changing pen and it is five bucks. Cinderella. Lights up seven sparkling colors. Try me. Okay. Okay. I think I've shown you guys Jamie before. I just don't like the pose she's in. Here's Romantic Wedding 2001 Barbie, the bridal collection. Ooh. I see that. I gotta go around. So when style Barbies are around here, oh, I know they're gonna be unaffordable for me. Yeah, 49 and $29. Tree Shell, and there's Grace. They are stunning. And there's Couture Barbie. Look at that dress. Oh, I'm so mad about these sewing style Barbies. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Three beautiful dolls. That Couture dress is beautiful. Beautiful. Why is she even on the show? This is cute. Skipper. She's not worth no $34.99 though. There's the Toys R Us Barbie. Barbie and friends, which are really cute. She's $24. And she is $29. Bargain had too much sun out there in the, in the airplane. Here's a Barbie. Who is she? This is an Avon Barbie. I got plenty of Avon Barbies. And this is the Spring Blossom Barbie. First in the series. There she is. But I'm really mad at these dolls. 
love her. She's only $24. But this is a little style Barbie. Look at them. I've got both of them, though. In unopened boxes. They have really great stuff. Can't even see it because the sun is so everywhere. But this is my favorite place to come and get any of my dolls. If I buy them. Who is this? your basic bitches, I mean Barbies, and then there's the original Barbie dolls and these things. These are wild, which is $39.99, which right now I'm not ready to pay that for her. This is more of a look. There's your astrologers, astroph astrophysicist, I don't know what it is, I don't care. She's $14.99. We've got so many things. There's long hair Ken. I got about three of him someplace. And here is Mitch. This is Mitch from the TV series. And she want, they want $70 for her. I'm going to get her cheaper though, probably. But I don't know that anyway. I can't get it back up there without causing a catastrophe. So she's just be right there. What is that? Little Debbie Barbie for $19. It's got a lot of little Debbie Barbies. Paper doll sets, cards. Ooh. FYA Sports. Boyfriend is Skipper. University Barbie. American Native Barbie. Mm -hmm. Shrek Barbie. Some other Toys R Us Barbie. There's a uh, Middle Evil Barbie. Anyway, let me figure out what I'm going to get because I don't know. Oh, that's it. Water lily. <laughs> or Tracy or Grace. We'll see. Maybe none. I'm just looking. All right, guys, I'm back from my. It was just a waste of time even going out there because I went to two shops and in the second shop I spent a whole budget. But anyway, this is what I bought at the Blessingdale's. This was my first stop and I had to get them. At first I was like, oh, it kind of smells, but I thought it was kind of cute. I heard some women over there saying they wish that he was their husband, which I don't understand. Anyway, this is the Dr. Ken and a little patient, Tommy. Now, this was 50% off, so I got them for $9.99. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. From the 19. And this is from 1997. Um, a lot of his stuff has fallen out of the boxes. It's like you can see, like most of it on the side of the boxes. Um, it's kind of fooled me because I thought that it probably would have came with this stand, but it did not come with that stand. Um, and then it also has, um, I'm dressed for a date without my lab coat outfit on underneath this. So, uh, that's nasty. You're going to work all day long and then go to work and, okay, you're going on a date. Anyway, I guess that's how they do it. I don't know. Anyway, this is the very first thing that I got was this. I thought that was a good deal. The 50% off. Even though I saw the $19, I was like, well, that's not too bad for him. You know, he probably is not even that much. But when I got up there, he's 50% off. So that was a good deal. Now, the doll that I spent my whole budget on, I'm going to tell you right now. I, I'm sweating up storm. Look at this. Just sweat. Not hot flashes. Sweat. It's hot. Oh, I got a fan in here. Duh. 
But anyway, this is what I spent my little budget on. <sighs> I know I showed you guys this doll, but I just had to get her. Get her. I have two in-style doll sets that I bought, and they're downstairs somewhere. God knows where. Still in the box. I kept saying I was going to take them out. That's my problem. I buy them to review them. Never take them out of the box because I hate it sometimes. I really do hate it. I just like looking at them. But anyway, this is Grace from the Sewing Style Barbie series. And as you see on the back, you see that all the best friends are celebrating with Grace for her sweet 16th. This is going to be one styling party. It's so sweet of Barbie to send a birthday wish to. And there are the friends on the back. How come Barbie didn't, how come Barbie wasn't in there? What's wrong, Barbie? Anyway, I thought it was pretty cute. I'm going to get her out of the box so we can take a closer look at her. Yeah, this is what I spent my budget on. And I think I spent... Well, she was $29. I was only intending to spend. I was going to spend 40 So, yeah. Yeah. That was it. That was it. And the thing is, if Ken had to been a $9, I, I wouldn't have got her either. But, anyway. While I'm opening her, I hope y'all no friends jump out, okay? I hope no friends jump out. I'm, I don't know which way I'm looking. Am I supposed to be over here looking? Am I supposed to look at, am I supposed to look at the green dot? I don't know. Anyway, she slides right out of the box. This is cute. Something just fell on my leg. Was it a spider egg? Oh God. Which got up your dress girl. Anyway, she does come with a little cupcake purse, which is really cute. I don't know why this camera always does this one. And it's always trying to tilt to the side and do everything it wants to do. It just gets on my nerve. And I'm going to try to get her the rest of the way out of the box. She's a beautiful color. And this is Grace. This I didn't really look at the side of her box. Her box is really cute on the side. This doll is in pristine condition. I know a lot of doll collectors out there screaming and hollering now because I took her out of the box. This camera just keeps doing what it wants to do. But I'm taking her out. You know, life is short. Besides, I can always put her back in. No big deal. Anyway, here's Grace. She is beautiful. She got her brown hair. She still has her stay tag in her head that I couldn't snatch out. It's in a ponytail, and it's really hard back there, too. She has a little birthday crown on for her 16th birthday. She's really cute. I love her little party dress. It's pink and sparkly. She has on cute little pink shoes. And she's really a, a just... You know, for as much as they want for these dolls, you know, they could at least have the bend to snap legs. These are just plastic legs. Um, they do go in and out. They go forward. She can do the splits. She has on no underwear. Her dress is really cute. Her arms go out, up and down. She has articulation with the head, and that's a really good articulation. But she's very pretty. Her makeup is just nice and 16-y. Because a 16-year-old makeup today, honey, look worse. Whoop. Anyway, this is Grace, and her hair is really soft, actually. It just has, like, a little product right here in her head, but her hair is really soft. I'm not going to open up Ken because I'm afraid to open up Ken because there's some smells going on in that box, and I'm going to wait a couple of weeks. Then I'll throw them in the washer along with little Tommy, I guess. Anyway, guys, my phone's acting stupid again as usual. So, like I said, Grace is in pristine condition. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this little impromptu video. Anyway, I hope you guys like this. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, once again, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. My name is Faye. This is Faye's Life. I did this at the end of the video. But anyway, guys, I will see you next time. Bye.